Hi, I'm Heidi Joy Trathaway with the OpenStack Foundation. Hi, thank you for, so much for coming on Superuser TV today. <laughs> so, what's new in this survey? Oh, this user survey is streamlined, but it's actually vastly expanded in terms of the pool of people who are answering it. We had more than 1,300 people answer this user survey in the span of just two weeks, which is more than double what we saw in the last cycle. So it's really exciting to see how many more people contributed and their thoughts. What were some of the big findings in this user survey cycle? I think the number one thing that we're seeing is that the number of deployments in production has more than doubled in the last 18 months. Um, that's an exciting number that speaks to OpenStack's maturity. And you can even see additional um, details on project adoption and use in our new project navigator that's going to show up um, how these projects are being used. When you looked at the NPS score, what type of people tended to score OpenStack most highly? Well, net, net promoter scores um, are a great way to take a barometer of the community. And we not only asked people how likely they are to recommend OpenStack to a colleague or a friend, but we also asked them what the primary basis for their score was, which is a lovely neutral question to really get to the heart of things that are either bugging them or really highlights for them. Um, so we heard a lot of really positive things about um, the community and the technology. Um, what we learned uh, from the NPS scores was that it didn't matter if somebody was an app developer or an operator or an upstream contributor. Um, it didn't matter if they were from a small company or a large company. Those NPS scores didn't change. What did change was we saw higher NPS scores whenever somebody had a production in deployment, uh, which suggests to me that when OpenStack is deployed successfully, people are really excited um, about the results and really um, satisfied with them. How is this data used in the community? The data is used in the community in a variety of ways. Um, we're using that in the product navigator. Um, we're using it to learn more about ways that we can serve the community. Um, we're feeding it back to the PTLs, the project technical leaders, and this is possibly the, the most beneficial for them. About a week before this Mataka Design Summit, we actually sent the raw comments from every single user um, specific to their project so that they'd be able to review them, maybe digest them, pick out themes, and share them with their teams while they're here at the Design Summit. Um, so it really, it really impacts uh, the future of what our next release will be. Speaking of future, what are some of the emerging technologies? We asked that question and we got so many wonderful results. More than three quarters of the users are really interested in container technology, so that had a great link to the containers white paper that the foundation just released in August. Um, we also saw a tremendous amount of interest in network functions virtualization, um, and we have an upcoming white paper on that too. Um, we saw a lot of interest, more than half of users expressing interest in platform as a service, and then also about a third of users are interested in the Internet of Things. Um, so we have a lot of good emerging technologies to explore in future content um, and, and kind of future discussions. Where can I find the summary of the most recent survey? Uh, the user survey is located at openstack.org forward slash surveys forward slash landing. And you can not only find the entire 42 page user survey there, but you can also find digests of the user surveys from the last couple of cycles. Thanks again for joining us on Super User TV today. Thanks for having me.